Well, the first part of our return value is just the word function. This is to separate it from a number like three or four, and to allow us to tell if the user mistakenly tries to call something that's not a function later. We then list the parameters, which we got right from the abstract syntax tree, the body of the function, which we also got right from the abstract syntax tree, and the environment in which it was defined, this one, env. And we're passing in env here instead of some global environment or whatnot, and this is what's going to allow local functions to see local variables. This is why things like make greeter work, they can refer back to variables that were currently in scope when they were defined. Now, many of you may notice a striking similarity between this and our previous code for handling function declarations. In fact, our previous code just had one more step where we added this value to the environment. For an anonymous function, we don't add it to the environment unless the user assigns it. But this code should look really, really familiar. We have something almost exactly like it for handling functions at the top level as JavaScript elements.